Aerodynamics is the study of forces and the resulting motion of objects through the air. With that in mind, today we'll talk about aerodynamics and the relationship with heavier than air aircraft. We'll discuss some of the important parts of an aircraft and how they relate to aerodynamics and how they're important to the functioning of the aircraft. When you study an aircraft, you'll learn that there are three axes of motion. This allows an aircraft to operate in a three-dimensional atmosphere. The three axes are longitudinal, vertical, and lateral. For each axis, there is an aircraft part that controls the motion about that axis. The control surface for the longitudinal axis, front to back, is the aileron. It is a hinged surface attached to the trailing edge of the wing. They control the roll of the aircraft. The control surface for the vertical, up and down axis, is the rudder. It is a hinged control surface attached to the trailing edge of the vertical stabilizer. It is used to control the yaw, or left to right motion, of the aircraft. Elevators. The control surface for the lateral axis are the elevators. They are usually at the rear of the aircraft on the trailing edge of the horizontal stabilizer. They are used to control the pitch of the aircraft. <laughs> the area near the front of an aircraft where the pilot and or crew control the aircraft is called the cockpit. The main body of the aircraft, usually behind the cockpit, is called the fuselage. It holds passengers, cargo, fuel, etc. In a single engine aircraft, the fuselage also holds the engine. Horizontal stabilizer. The horizontal stabilizer is a fixed or adjustable surface, usually on the tail of the aircraft. The elevators are attached to the horizontal stabilizer if the aircraft has them. On some aircraft, the whole stabilizer moves so elevators are not required. These are called stabilators. Vertical stabilizer. The vertical stabilizer is a fixed surface, usually on the tail of the aircraft. The rudder is attached to the vertical stabilizer. This surface keeps the aircraft moving in a straight direction. The surface which acts as the main lifting body is the wing. It provides lift using Bernoulli's principle or Newton's laws. There are two types of aircraft as far as propulsion is concerned. The aircraft is propelled either by a jet engine or a propeller. The propeller of an aircraft provides the thrust which propels the aircraft forward. The propeller pulls or pushes the aircraft through the air. Jet engines do the same thing as a propeller, that is, propel the aircraft forward. They have a jet intake, which is the area of the aircraft that funnels the air to the compressor section of the engine. The jet aircraft will also have a tailpipe, or exhaust, where the exhaust gases are pushed out, causing the action-reaction, which pushes the aircraft forward. Now that you are more familiar with the parts of an aircraft, you should be able to better understand how an aircraft flies. And remember, in the words of Carl Sagan, somewhere, something incredible is waiting to be known. Keep searching.